Hey everyone, welcome back to another PSP homebrew video. And today I have for you the Super Nintendo emulator for the PSP. All the links will be in the description down below for you. And if you haven't already jailbroken or hacked your PSP, I have full guides also in the description so you can go ahead and watch those videos. And once you have your PSP all jailbroken, you can come back to this video and install the new emulator for your PSP. Two things you'll need is a USB cable and a computer to download and transfer the files to your PSP. Connect your PSP to your PC via USB cable. Just go to the first link in the description and go ahead and download the Super Nintendo emulator in the download section right click and extract the Super Nintendo 7z file and if you don't have any extracting program all you have to do is just download 7-zip or Renoir and install it on your computer right click and extract files you will have to extract the signed folder one last time just right click and extract again and you will now have a new unzipped folder ready to go Within that folder, you should have six files, five folders, and one eboot.pbp file. Make sure to right click the SNES 9x underscore euphoria and copy the folder. Next, open up your PSP USB drive, go into the PSP folder, and we'll be headed into the game folder. And you can simply right click and paste. But if you have the plugins where you categorize all of your homebrew, Go ahead and throw it into one that works or is whatever your preference. Mine is going to be in the emulators folder. And paste all of those games into your ROMs folder. Once everything is copied over, disconnect your USB cable and head on over to the emulator and run the application. Once you're in, you want to select the ROMs folder and open that up. It should take a little bit just to load up your games and select whatever game you're going to run and press circle. Once you're in the game, you can press the L and R buttons to open up your settings and you can change the different options by pressing the left and right on the D-pad. Under video, you should have a bunch of different settings to adjust depending on the ROM that you're playing. So some games are going to require a little bit of tweaking. So under video, also under the miscellaneous options under hack and debug menu, you can mess around with those settings to see what works for the current game that you're playing to improve frame rates. So that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions, comment down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.